just going to knock up my uh, Cliff's Natural, what you would call it, Cliff's Natch, Beef Natural Supreme. Right, a few things I need, you need a pan obviously, a plastic pan, got my old seasoned tray, or you have a wash with a sponge and soapy water. And what else do I have here? Mince. You've got some old El Paso taco seasoning. Tortilla chips. Some salsa. Cheese. I've got nacho cheese, Mexican cheese here. Right, we'll just shift this all over there. So we'll get the pan on. Yeah, it's heated up. You don't need to put any oil in this. Just uh, get that heated up as quick as I can. Get enough to open this. Get that mince the, the brown there. Sorry, he's got the chainsaw out next door again. Welcome to suburban life. Ain't it great? So as I said, no oil or anything, just brown that up. Down a bit here. You want this to brown, you want the fat to come out of it. You want this, the fat to start to separate from the beef a bit as well. Before you go anywhere near putting this in, don't put this in yet. Let's keep it tied up Such a tasty uh, party snack to have on hand. Just brings back memories of me visit to Texas. And a specific Tar Quentin Tarantino movie called Death Proof. Where Kurt Russell just comes into the bar and asks for natural supreme. With his soda water because he doesn't drink. And there's this whole other conversation going on in the background in the bar. While he's just munching away on his... Uh, Natural Supreme, drinking his soda water, got his paper, bit of paper towel, or I think it's just a napkin and he's continuously doing this, getting rid of all the grease, but he's just like in the background while there's this whole other conversation going on over there in the film. <laughs> but uh, yeah, great party food this. Start to brown up nicely there. the um, oil start to separate from the mince now why well, you don't need to put any oil in it just need a non-stick pan you can see all that coming out now just going to keep it on high until you get the brown bit so keep an eye on it 
And depending on how fatty the mince is, I sometimes throw some of this fat away. Um, it leaves a, like, basically you're left with clear grease on the nacho tray, which isn't nice if you, if you have it too fatty. But this does, this pack of seasoning does soak up quite a fair bit of the fat, so it's, the, it's up to yourself whether you want to remove it or not. I'm, I'm debating on this batch here whether I should. There's a kind of a balance, like a balance of salt, I think, with fat. If you have too much fat, it ruins the dish. If you have too little, it enhances. It ruins the dish. You have just the right amount and enhances the flavour. And this is... I don't know. I'm still debating. So this is brown now, stick the sniper sticking in. I think that's alright. I've drained this amount of fat off before, but I'm not going to mess on draining fat at the moment. There'll be plenty of fat in the cheese anyway. I'm just going to open that door now, the noise is finished in the background. So it's steaming up that camera. Right, which is round enough for me. Well, there it is, all El Taco seasoning. I mean, you can use any type of seasoning, there's different brands, cheaper brands, regional brands. My nephew recently brought back to a brand from Philippines with him to try. But yeah, just dumped the whole lot in. I wouldn't recommend just putting mince into your tacos. He needs, I mean, the beef mince needs this seasoning in it, I think. It needs some sort of Mexican seasoning in the beef. It's just too bland without it. Right, so that's mixed in there. We're just going to we'll turn that down a bit. What I'm looking for now is for the seasoning to soak up a lot of the fat and to tenderise the mince a bit while it's doing it. Get the flavours into the mince. You can see that's starting to... You re, I'm looking for the mince to be quite dry at the end of this. Most of that fat and vapour, the liquid anyway, most of the liquid should evaporate. You should have quite a dry mince at the end of it. Oh, oh I've had that. Mmm, tastes good. Good enough to go. Right, cheap potato chips, 49 pence from middle. They don't need to be flavoured, they're just slightly solid. Put the um, I'll make those up this camera over here. Turn them on the top now. Put this one up here. Yeah, got the tray there. Put these open. Get the oven on while I'm doing this. So spread them out even the only tray as you can. I'll probably not use it, you can use all the spins. I don't pre fact, yeah, I'm gonna use all the mints. It just depends on how, how much beef in it you want, I suppose. It's entirely up to you, but I think you can see that's looking. Quite well done now. So, just here you get your spoon. And uh, start sprinkling some of this over there. Just liberally. You can see there's still some juice in there. That's what I was trying to avoid by draining some fat off. But here you know, it'll still work. You want it to be quite dry so it doesn't soak it. Uh, Tortilla chips too much. 
just want them to be crispy underneath all the coating on top. It's not a diet thing, it's, it's the end result thing I'm looking for. You want those chips to be still be crispy underneath. I'm salivating just even doing this. Yeah, I've got some oil in the bottom of the pan, I'm going to try to stop that from getting in this, into this. But, uh, there you go. Oh, one greedy, I forgot. Yep. Jalapenos, I've got jar jalapenos here. Yeah, these are optional, as to how fiery you would like it. I'll stick them on, I'm going to get the um, salsa. Yeah, big spoon. So that's quite, I'll spread that out a little bit more, a little bit better than it was. Beef spread out a bit more. There you go, get the whole little jar out. Just liberally sprinkle it out. Make sure I get as much of it over almost every bit you can, yeah. I have sometimes put two jars of this on, but I've got that much mince on at the moment, I think I'll just give it one. In fact, the jars of salsa are that cheap at the moment. No, I think I'm going to put another jar on there, I could do with more, I think. Tired enough to you, how much you want on. Oh yeah, let's stick another jar on. That just doesn't look as though it's covered enough. Lots of gaps to fill in. The oven's uh, currently heating up at 200 degrees, or well, heating up to 200 degrees, fan oven. So I think this needs spreading a bit more to the edges, as you can see, it's not quite to the whole way to the edge. I've got bits of um, potato chip at the very edges that aren't coloured, so just to help this spread this out a bit more. That. Just try and make sure that every bit is covered. Now it's up to you as to how brave you feel when it comes to the uh, jalapenos here. Yeah? Six is usually enough for me for that little. <laughs> you can put as many of these on as you want, just be warned. They will hurt. The great thing about this is you don't have to eat all at once, you can just leave it there and uh, munch at it later. Three. There's a big fourth one. Uh, bits of in there. That'll do me. Six portions basically. One jalapeno on each. If you're braver, you can have four jalapenos per portion. Very up to you. Right, so I'll cream nuts for the egg. So get this Nuts of cheese open. Like it doesn't have to be natural cheese. I've got the cheese in the fridge, I might use it up as well. Let's see this is a video I'll use a proper Mexican natural cheese. Again, you want to try and get as much of the, it's like a pizza pie, you want to try and get as much cheese and cover as much of it as possible. Try and leave no bits uncovered. It doesn't have to be a thickest layer because it will melt well into the salsa. Just all packet. 
I mean, if they wanted the, your cheese to go further, they could stop there. I'll make another platter later. But I'm just going to use all of this up. I'm going to basically, I've got some movies to watch, so I'll be uh, munching on this with some beers and that while I'm I mean, watching the movies. Right, I think I've covered it more. I've got other cheese on there, I'm contemplating putting it on and over there. It's entirely up to you. Just cheap grated cheese or cheese can be expensive, so and yeah, I've used quite a lot there. You can see how it's quite well covered. I wouldn't put too much of any one ingredient on because once you start getting more than an inch thick, it's impossible for you to pick a nacho up underneath the tortilla chip with the ingredients on it that just drops off. The idea is you pick the nachos out and eat them with all the coating on. I would say that's about my limit of coating I would put on. So the oven's at uh, 200 degrees. Just uh, shove these in for 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Depends how much you like your cheese powders. In it goes. Set the timer. Back with you soon. Right, that's 10 minutes. It's enough for me. So, just remember I've put my uh, oven glove in the wash. <laughs> try and ease this out with a tea towel that I've been doing myself. Oh dear. Right, we'll turn that off. You can hear that sizzling? Oh, I'll show you this in the oven. Down there. Whoa! Right there. there it is, they're all sizzling away. Stick this one up here. Right, get this bad boy out. There he's gone. So you can leave it in longer and get the cheese to brown more. It's really up to you. But, uh, Sometimes if I'm having guests or whatever, I'll just uh, lay a few of these on the table in the living room, some like towels or whatever, protect the woodwork. And we'll just dump that in the middle there, and we'll get some things to cut it with, and just share it out there. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a bit off, take that in the living room, and uh, munch on it while I watch some movies. That's not good. So, let me start the plate. Yeah, then that's what you're looking at for all the greens on top have been melted and the actual tortilla chips underneath are still crispy as anything. Right, cutting it basically a bit like a pie, with a spatula here. And if we swing this on to the plate, that's a delicate process. There you go. So, you can see that there. So, I'll put this back in the oven now to keep it warm. It's in the oven still hot. Oh, it's not that much on this bit yet. Keeps it warm for seconds. Oh, can't have any wasters there, just clean me back some of the way. Give yourself a treat. Get a brewski. Let's just uh, dive into some of this under the camera so you can see it better. You just grab some of the natural there. You can see that there. On there. I forgot the magic and grooming. How could I forget? Oh, I spilled some on my tray. Take one the body. Bit of sour cream. Finishing touch. How could I forget the finishing touch, eh? It's better having it cold on the plate than hot for it in the oven. So, let's 
So that's why I put it on last. I planned that. Let's just mop this up. Shows, beers, movies on the media player to watch. That's my day sorted. My day off sorted. See you later.